One of the most legendarily haunted areas in western New York is this woody stretch of territory between the Allegheny River and a, the side of a hill in Allegheny State Park. We're on a bridge overlooking the Southern Tier Expressway in one of the most storied pieces of territory in western New York. Up there's Gahai Hill, home of the witch lights. But actually in that direction is Witch's Walk. Witch's Walk was the site of an ancient battlefield. A real bloody battle took place there maybe a thousand years ago. And that, I believe, is why that area is been attributed the name as haunted because of all the people who were killed there. It was an area that was thought to be so haunted that the only people who walked there at night would have been witches and wizards, the only people who didn't dread its occult influences. A phenomenon that I have grown up with, I have seen a number of lights out in the fields around my home and in the hills around my home. I've seen them along the river, in the river, across the river. And witch light is something that I, I just simply call them myself and other people have called them spirit lights and other people refer to them as simply the lights. They're glowing luminous spheres about the size of maybe a football or volleyball. And it's said to be the way witches travel sometimes when they feel like it at night. It's also said that sometimes if you're real close to these things, these witch lights, you may occasionally see a human face inside the light. This whole region of Allegheny State Park has been a source not only of folklore about ghosts and witches, but almost every other type of uh, Seneca bogey, everything from the supernatural zoo of the Iroquois is reported in this region. They've got the great snake, they've got their cannibalistic giant known as Hi-Hat. He is a creature that is man-like. He stands as a man, walks like a man. He looks very much like a man. Whenever he has been seen in the woods, he is wearing a high hat, a stovepipe type hat. People who have seen him close, up close and personal, say that he has a very gruff voice and he is supplied with an ample amount of sharp teeth. He is a meat eater. He travels wherever swamps, half channels, wherever there's streams, there's creeks, the river bank itself. So that goes right through what was the old witch's walk and high hat certainly would be would be there. Talking animals, sometimes animals uh, like deer walking on their hind legs. A lot of cool stuff here. And the sound effects are said to be particularly vivid at night. People have tried to camp overnight in that area, especially on Gahai Hill, and they just cannot do it because of the real heavy evil feeling or heavy feeling of something's not right there. 